Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. This is episode number 3 in how to build the Creel House interior from of course Train of Things Season 4 and here in Minecraft. Now uh, if you guys didn't check out episode number 1 and 2, of course you can find a playlist link in the description below for the entire thing. But if you have, then you'll know we're working on the left side of the house over here. So when you come in the front door, over here is uh, what we've been doing so far. Now, as we do have two rooms already pretty much done on this left side, I thought, you know what, it may be a little bit torturous for those that want to get the <laughs> dining room done, you know, pretty soon. But I feel like we should save that for a little bit. You know, that let that sort of be on our minds that that is to come, like a, like a reward almost for getting it done. So if we go ahead and get the kitchen done today in episode three, we can also probably get this little sort of maybe pantry room or something done back here um, as well. And that will finish up the left side of this first floor then that means in part number drum roll please part number four we're gonna be heading off to the right side and getting this one done the dining room done and of course the empty room at the back of the dining room as well so lots to do but uh, we have got this in the bag let's get some materials and get started with today's tutorial okay assassins so we're back over here now we are gonna head into this first door uh, past the fireplace and up towards the back door so in here we take ourselves some spruce fence gates, some light grey stained glass, some smooth quartz blocks, some spruce planks, a note block as well, birch planks, stripped birch logs, a dark oak trap door, and finally some dark oak planks as well. Now as you know we do have this fireplace in the corner and of course we don't want this mud to be showing through into our kitchen. How unhygienic would that be? <laughs> so let's go ahead and just sort this room out here. So we're going to take ourselves the spruce and note blocks of course for the bottom down here towards the left of the doorway. Then we skip the block as we come around the corner here, just like so. And then we're basically going to do this one block just here in the corner and then go back straight to the wall for two. So that's pretty useful there. And that kind of uh, isolates the fireplace and the back of the fireplace into its own little cubby hole here. Which you can then imagine there will be a chimney that runs from here straight up maybe to a second floor fireplace and then through to the actual ceiling and roof so um yeah but of course in minecraft we're not going to make everything so uh kind of like real so uh, we can we can sort of adapt that accordingly which is nice let's go ahead and decorate the walls here you can double up this wall because we don't see you know this wall from the inside so that's actually really helpful for us and what I'm going to do is today I'm going to show you guys how to do the walls yourselves. And then um, he says messing up. <laughs> um, and then you guys can do it on your own because that is quite a time consuming thing. And I don't want to keep most of your time on this video being making the walls at the same time as me. That's going to be really dull. So if you guys want to do that on your own, I'll just show you how to like mark out the rooms. And then we'll build up the walls to be the same height. Pretty much the same height as this one I think. Could be a little bit higher. We'll have a look in a moment. Actually, it's one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four is right. So we're going to be the same layer for the roof as the room before it. So this one in here. That's helpful. It's really good. Okay, so over here, we need to leave a four block gap on the left of the door on the inside. So we've got two here on this left side. One, two, three, and four. On five, we build ourselves a new wall, which will come straight back to this wall down here. Again, we'll take the note blocks all the way along here like so. Then we'll take ourselves the spruce planks, like this. And now of course we need to add in a doorway that can be kind of used to get from the kitchen into this back room over here. This is actually where we change the building as well. We're going to have to change the outside of the building uh, for this section, which not going to lie, is a bit of a pain. But it's going to be good to get that done because that is the only real big structural change in this interior. So here for now though, we go one out for our door frame. Now that way when we start building our wall, so again doubling up here with our um, same materials, when we get all the way across to here, we of course put a dark oak plank above the door frame to symbolize that it is a door frame. Now we continue the pattern along as if we were continuing this one. So we plank and then log all the way to the end, up to here. And now when we go ahead and turn around to be facing the back wall over here, where we actually do have our cooker, uh, we're gonna go ahead and place ourselves quite a lot of uh, detail up here. 
with a nice window and that type of thing as well. So, as there is a window over here, we do two note blocks, then of course our planks as usual. Actually, planks can continue as usual all the way across. Same with our note blocks actually, like so. Now then we cut over here for a four block high window, like so. The bottom two blocks will of course be our smooth um, quartz block. Then we'll take our light gray stained glass and then we do ourselves these fence gates and they're going to be open for window shutters just here. Now this is the only window on this back wall so the rest of it can be you know continuing with our, our nice pattern. So don't forget to bring the spruce up to the window and then don't forget to continue the wall along here so we can continue it from this right side now. Most of this wall is covered up with the cooker so you're not going to be able to see it from the inside so I wouldn't worry yourselves too much with the pattern but just get it enough so you can at least complete the window over here like this I'm going to do one just there like so lovely now let's get the rest of this pattern done over this door frame and then we'll look at doing some more structural changes in here and then work on the structure at the back here okay so there we are we have ourselves four walls now which is lovely so now it looks like a house within a house <laughs> we're going to go ahead and come to this side of the doorway we want to build ourselves up with our planks just here so leaving a space going here and building dark oak planks here for four we can leave a gap of two and do another four over here and we can actually build up another you know what, we'll do another one just here and here like so as well cool yeah, good stuff. That'll save us a little bit of a task later. Now we're leaving a cluster of four blocks on its left. So here, we go ahead and cut out a three block window. And here as well. Now, of course, this isn't going to be a window at the moment because we have the rest of this house here. But um, it will be an outside window after we get our finish with it, really. So um, in the gap here, you can do yourself the fence gates in line with the wall. Remember, because the wall isn't actually in line with the exterior of the building. We do the glass after the gates. And then on this side, you can do yourselves the glass. Shift or crouch click to place it on the uh, on the um, gates there, like so. Awesome. That looks really cool. Okay, then. The next thing I would like to teach you guys to do is to build this room here. And then we can start to move the back wall inwards before continuing. So, oh, before we crack on, though. Let's add in ourselves these trapdoors going here for four. One, two, three, four. And here as well. Fold it down with the hollowed out squares, remember? Like that. And then we'll also do them on the back wall as well, where we have our big cooker and things. So this cooker goes in here. What we need to do is we need to bring ourselves one, two, three of our normal planks along. Where the shroom light is at the moment, we remove that. Uh, sorry, frog light. We go one, two, three three actually we can build straight up to the roof let's do that so straight up to the the roof height at the moment it will actually end up being just here one block past the window but as i've built a little bit further up i'm going to build it just straight up to the top there i'm going to leave myself a gap of two and i'm going to go another one straight up to the ceiling like so then i'll build two normal blocks down here about let's go three blocks up from the floor one two three so past the note blocks I'm going to go ahead and add in myself, ooh, you know what, I'm unsure, so I'm not going to add it in just yet. What I will do though is come down from the roof, uh, just for three blocks each at the moment, and then we'll continue that later. I don't want to get too carried away with it just at the moment, being a little bit unsure. I think it looks good though. Oh, you know what, we can add in another two just there. Yeah, I think that's good. Cool, all right. Now over here we just added a couple more planks, we'll do two more over here from this cabinet and then that will be for our sinks and sort of all that stuff that goes just in here like this. Yeah that looks good, oh let's add another one just that side as well, there we go. Yeah but otherwise I think we're all good here, that looks lovely, yeah well done guys. Okay so now going on to the little room that we were discussing over here. Now before we get just into there, let's add on some doors. Keeping the uh, the whole thing doored up is actually quite a challenge in this one because um, my memory is bad and I always forget where I've done doors and where I haven't. So it's best to double check that everything has a door. So we're going to do a door just here going into this room and this door will come back in towards the kitchen. 
and we'll do it on the right wall over here, so the biggest wall. We could place them here, but as we already have trapdoors, it would look a little bit strange. So we'll do trapdoors on this one instead. We can also do another door on this one, so again on the biggest wall. Remember three trapdoors on its left side. And again over here, we'll do it on the smaller wall instead. Three trapdoors up. Cool. Double check we haven't done a door there already. <laughs> nah, that's looking good. Yeah, epic guys, well done. Okay, so in here, this is going to be our little small room that we're unsure of the dimensions of. Don't worry, I actually do have the dimensions now. We're going to use this wall that we've already built. Very helpful. We will count one, two, three, four along here. And on the fifth course, go ahead and mark it out with your spruce planks. For now, just bring kind of a weird number along like that. Maybe just one block from the, the edge. And then that one too. And then what I'll do is we already have that one going for us, which again is very helpful. We'll build a door over here. One, two, three. The left side and the biggest side of this doorway here, the four blocks. So in here like that, that looks good. Over here, this wall is gonna end up being about six blocks long, which we already have here. Perfect. So now we'll do our pattern again. Building this whole thing up to the height before it. Just like so. Awesome. And now we're going to go here and build our, uh, our wall again. So we'll curve our spruce planks coming right to the end. Our note blocks right to the end. Spruce once again to this end. And then of course we do our pattern again. I'm going to go for, not worry about uh, continuing this one, you know, kind of in the corner there. I will just go straight round with the new set just here. That'll be all fine. So let's go ahead and just build this pan in quickly. And once we do this, we're going to add in ourselves a nice window that'll be here, letting in some nice natural light, which would be good. That'll allow us to, to work a little bit easier. So we do end up doubling up the pattern on this right wall, but you're not going to see that from the inside, so I wouldn't worry. There we go. There is a cool window in here, like I said, so it's going to be in line with this door frame to the kitchen. So you can walk forward from the kitchen, you can come up to the top of the uh, spruce planks and you can literally knock out three on this one then straight through our exterior like so and then we can take our gates here open them up so you can walk through and then come to the back and place yourself light gray stained glass like so if you want to stick yourself a quartz block underneath it for now of course we're going to decorate this whole thing and make it look just a lot nicer very good for now go guys well done i'm gonna breach myself back in here <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sort this out and, uh, well, find the dimensions even, and then I'll teach you guys how to do this too. Okay, are you guys ready for this? This is going to be a little bit complicated, so feel free to pause the video if you need to, and ask me any questions you may have in the comments down below. We are going to need to basically lob off some of this building. <laughs> As you can see here, we have three windows, and if you look at my interior, Creole House over there only has two on the side there. So this window has got to go. We're going to take ourselves some smooth quartz block, some smooth quartz stairs, a smooth quartz slab, cobbled deep slate stairs, cobbled deep slate slabs, some blue terracotta once more, and cobbled deep slate as well. Okay. <laughs> right then. Oh, we're also going to need some bricks. Almost forgot that. Brick block is very important. Okay. So if you want to come on inside of... Uh, this area here so the little square we have that is kind of nothing at the moment and it has a window just kind of sitting there and just doing nothing <laughs> we are going to need to line up the building with it so we're going to go next to this and we're just going to cut a hole in the wall here straight the way across to the outside of this building as well like so that no doesn't need to be there this is all too much we've given ourselves too much space we can also break straight up to the second floor and again, along the same line, straight through the roof here, like so. Now then, we want to make sure that this whole line is consistent the whole way through. So it looks like we're taking like a, a ray gun and we're just sort of slicing the building in half. We're kind of giving someone half of this house. So, <laughs> well, a quarter of this house, really. So let's build along to this one. Well, I'll destroy along to this one. So you're in line with it there, like so. 
and then we'll destroy out of this wall just here so make sure to keep this wall intact the one with the window on and we go ahead and break up to here and straight out this way like so so we break straight out of the roof there and now let's follow that break along is this in line just double check yep so that means we need to turn now to go this way oh perfect so as you can see this slice of the house is the one we need to go ahead and give to someone so we're going to take this off so we're just going to remove everything on this slice including the floor below so this floor down here we're going to go ahead and remove in this space now just here oh and basically where the slice has begun so here <laughs> this is kind of a fun section not part done first and efficiently then uh, everything actually falls in place quite nicely so guys i'll leave you guys to destroy the rest of this so don't forget this square must go but everything here is kept the same let's get rid of this and then we'll get back to it right well then that is awesome now it's not trying to be one of those books you know where uh, it kind of shows you like a cut in half piece of the building and you can see the interior we definitely don't want that for our creole house we're trying to make it all 3d actually it kind of looks like a lego set doesn't it <laughs> where the lego city sets are open on the back so you can get your hands in there <laughs> Again, we're not trying to build that, so we definitely need to close this up. We're going to go ahead and come down to the bottom and just flush to this wall, so literally right beside it. We're going to want to go ahead and turn some some brick block here and then across to this one just here. You can imagine that that will be brick block, but I was lazy when I did this one and uh, obviously made that all dark oak, which is a bit dumb. Oh, one material I have just grabbed, by the way, is some spruce planks. For this section here we need to of course finish that section by then going here and so along there so stopping next to our brick block here now then this bro uh, brick block on the end we're going to take ourselves smooth quartz block from up from it and literally going straight up to here to be in line with their the kind of trimmings of the roof just like so we then want to do the same over on this side we build this one straight up to the top here like so cool as you can see we did it already on the previous one and we do it on all the corners of the building now we have two new corners well three technically if you include the one inside here we need to go ahead and obviously give it that uh, same style in here you can build that third and final corner build it in line with the the others like so now if you want to drag the top along to each other this will make the three sections easier to kind of build together and then we can go into where we have the roof trim just here and we're going to continue the roof coming along like this like that here the same kind of block pattern as it was before and then we're going to do it one block past the building as well so using the same design as before just dragging it along one block past our quartz pillar here now then when you come onto this side you can then go ahead and stick yourself a slab here an upside down stair here and an upside down stair at the top there below this one you can do yourself a couple upside down stairs one and two just like so and that really nicely finishes the pattern up there now on the end of the building here you can take yourself a quarter and then in this space here between the main building and the greenhouse area we'll take some blue terracotta and we'll come onto the inside of the greenhouse so we can make sure that this is all filled up nicely in here. Kind of airtight for our beautiful plants. <laughs> this is a pretty cool section. There we go. Just like so. Let's come outside now. And now that all looks really clean and tidy there. Perfect. Okay, so now bringing this one along, we're going to take ourselves our blue terracotta again. We will take two layers straight up from the ground here on the right side of the building. So straight up from the brick block, sorry, not the ground. So like so. Our new ground, basically. And now on the third one, of course, we have our window here. So we're going to take ourselves our quartz brick, uh, quartz block, even smooth quartz, down for three so it covers the note block up to the first layer of birch, and along the bottom of the note blocks. Then we'll take three slabs here. We'll take an upside down stair on the top of our quartz blocks. 
Then we go in, stepping up with our quarter stairs. Then we do three ups and down stairs over the window, and then three slabs on top of it. Now of course there's still a gap between this kind of window ledge and the actual building. So to fill the gap, we just take blue terracotta in there like so. And that should look like that. Wonderful. You can now go around to a different section, maybe this one over here. Just pick block yourself some glass back, replace the glass right next to the gates, and then take your slabs back like so. Let's fill the underside with blue terracotta as well. And then we'll take some blue terracotta up this entire wall here. So this whole wall will be blue terracotta up, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get this done, guys. So this one up to that quartz there. And then everything beyond this window, following the blue terracotta already placed, build this up to the quartz layer as well. Let's get this done, guys. Well, guys, that looks so good at the moment. Well done for that. I know it's uh, a very big task to ask, but um, we have done that now. That is the biggest structural change in our entire crew house build so that's perfect now we need to of course kind of give it a roof because it's looking you know <laughs> kind of plain up here now and obviously not so airtight you're going to get a lot of rain in here so let's go ahead and come down to our trim again over here on the roof we'll take ourselves an upside down stair here and one directly around the corner we're going to connect them via a slab just in here and remember we do slab stairs kind of alternating along like this so around here, let's do ourselves a slab, upside down stair, slab, stair, slab, stair, in the corner a slab, constantly along to here, and then this one is going to have to be a stair, but this way around, like so, as we're on the back, then we'll do a slab in there, just like so. Cool. And that from both sides kind of looks cool anyway, so that's fine. Now we can continue with the roof. We need to come up, so we're leaving one layer of trim around the entire building not two. So here is actually where we can continue with our cobbled deep slate roof. Of course we do have to bring this in again so we can knock these two top layers out a second and then we can continue with this one coming in again. Now we can continue with the third one by knocking out the fourth back by a block like this. And then these ones, instead of being blocks, can just be turned into stairs like so. And then we should have ourselves a nice cobblestone, sorry, a <laughs> cobbled deep slate, our roof once again. Lovely, looking very good. Now I do have a bad habit in Minecraft of giving myself more jobs than I actually need to, except exceptionally in tutorials. And that is exactly what I've done just now. So you see this roof trim just here. We have this roof kind of sloping down over where our greenhouse is going to be. Well, I, accid ah, I accidentally made myself more work. So that means that we're going to have to sort of connect this to our new back decking. You remember when I was doing up the back of the house and I said, oh, I haven't done it yet. And then I pudding magically did it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's because I off camera was like, you know, I can make this better. But then don't think of the work afterwards. So um, <laughs> now we're going to get that done. We were supposed to be working on the kitchen only today, but... Um, Ah, I do like to get carried away, but this is a fun section, so this is going to be a good one. Alright, let's take ourselves some cobbled deep slate slabs. From the upside down stair, bring it into the corner there. Go along to here, and stop on this quartz pillar. Flip a stair upside down just there like so, a quartz stair that is. And then take quartz slabs from that upside down stair, right the way along to this quartz pillar over here. Just like so. That now connects up the sort of side and the back of the house together, like this. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and go with our slab stair pattern again. So we'll do ourselves a slab, a stair, a slab, a stair, and we want ourselves another slab just here. So we have three of these upside down stairs here on the side of the building, well on the back of the building technically. At the bottom down here, we're going to make sure that we have ourselves uh, only the amount of blocks we need for our actual back sort of doorstep. We'll take brick block going along for four blocks, one, two, three, four, out from the building. Then we're going to take a layer of blue terracotta. Then we'll do ourselves a quartz block here, here, and then we'll go ahead and build brick block going right the way along. Oh, not not upwards, not upwards. That's not what we want. Right the way along 
the front of the Creole house here. Front? The back, even. Ah, what am I saying? The back of the Creole house, and then we connect it to this wall over here as well. We also do the same design. We do our four blue terracotta, then we do a block of quartz, and then two blocks away, another one here, and then we take blue terracotta from each side, connecting them. Then we leave a, a block gap and we do another smooth quartz block just there and there. And now we're going to build kind of where our doorway will be and a nice staircase for the doorway. We're going to take ourselves a block just here of quartz, so that will be in line with the window and here as well. And then a block away on both sides you can build another pillar sort of um, base kind of structure there. On the ones closest to each other. I mean in the middle. <laughs> Take yourself a slab coming out from it. Then we want to do ourselves a blue terracotta here and here. Now we'll do ourselves a block of quartz with a slab coming out from it again. We'll do ourselves two blocks of blue and you can actually connect these actually, that'd be fine. I mean you can even connect it with one block of um, brick in there if you want. Ah there's a poppy there, that's why I couldn't place it. I was worrying, and I was like, why can't I place it? That's weird. That yeah, makes sense now. <laughs> there we go. It does look a little bit untidy, so if you wanted to just change it all to be blue, then I completely can understand that. And then at the bottom here, you place yourself a step, just a singular step like so. For the actual stairs themselves, you go with a slab, a three here, a block, and then we do slabs again, and then you come up to these three blue which you can just change to quartz blocks in there like so awesome that looks really cool it looks a bit strange at the moment because we haven't got any other materials to sort of decorate but um no it's looking how it should be so that's really good well done guys all right so for the actual building trim here so for the trim of the uh you know the decking and stuff again here as you can see we're purposely one block away from what we have below that's what exactly what we did when we were building the exterior. We'll do our ups and downs stair and slab pattern all the way along here like this. Oh, almost. Until we reach ourselves basically in line with the quartz um, pillar here. Then we do ourselves a stair flip this way ups and down so it's out from the building now. And again, we want three of these upside down stairs before reaching the pillar again there. And for the pillar one, you can just connect it with one singular slab, like so. Now on the behind of these, you can add in yourself a nice quartz block layer. Behind the entire way, like so. Then we want to do ourselves a deep slate slab kind of roof here. Only from quartz pillar to quartz pillar, not the actual material. Just like so. And then we're going to need to take ourselves, I think it's a, a layer of blocks next. So we go with a layer just here, leaving the inside hollow, by the way. That's going to be important for later. And then we can do ourselves two lots of slabs just up here for the final layer. Like so. Oh, that looks so cool. Yes, awesome. Okay, nice one. Oh, we have ourselves two windows to get done down here. Of course, we've already built this one over here. We also have another one to build this way. So then, let's go for three blocks away from this window and uh, sort of door, the back door just here. We're going to start from, let's go, I want to go in line with my windows over this way. So along, so that's the second block up. We're going to go one, two, three on our blue. On four is where we begin with our quartz. Remember it's a three block high window, so we can just take three blocks like so. Uh, we'll actually go four blocks. Four blocks? Hmm. You know, I'm going to stick with three at the moment and then we can always change later. One block away, I'm going to do another three. Then I'm going to go for a in line with this one. So, yeah, this four. We're going to take ourselves smooth quartz stairs up to down on these ones. And what you do to one side, you can do to the exact other side as well. So, we can take quartz here as well making an almost U-shape around our window. So we do ourselves 
ups to downstairs here and here. Sorry, I went a bit too far past it. So like that. We do ourselves an ups to downstairs above the window. A normal stair here and a normal stair here. Both of them with the backs facing towards the middle one. And a slab up there. Again over here, ups to down, normal, normal, slab. Knock out these three for your window. And then replace this bottom one with another quartz block there. Let's pick block ourselves windows. One, two, three. Grab our slab back and get on with the next step. So the final thing we can do with this back sort of porch with the materials we have in hand is just taking our deep slate, our cobble deep slate stairs, sorry, going to the back of the quartz blocks below and feeding them up to down around the section here. Right into the building like so. Now we're left with two rows just in here. This allows us to stick them up to down, but in a shape like this. So it's like an up to down. Uh, if you're building this on the floor, you could make a nice bathtub. So if we were to do this sort of thing, or a pet bed, bathtub or pet bed, like so. We want to do that up to down up here for our decking, not a bathtub or pet bed. <laughs> so we take it all the way along here, up to down. And I said earlier, this will help us later. It really does because we actually use this for hanging some lanterns on. So we need to make sure that we have this ready to go. Like so. Amazing. Well done guys. Now we may as well get some more materials for the back, finish that up, then we'll go back into the interior. Okay, so to get this done, we'll take ourselves a dark oak trap door, a lantern, some chains, some spruce fence gates, some flowering azalea leaves, spruce trap doors, some jungle planks, a door right wall and some quartz bricks as well. Okay then, of course the flooring of our decking is going to be all jungle and you can build it remember to the same layer as your doorway. You don't want it to be you know one block too short because you're going to just fall as soon as you come out the back door. <laughs> we don't want that so let's go ahead and just fill this in. These are always the nice easy sections of my tutorials <laughs> just the filling parts. There we go looking good. Now we can take our door right wall and on every quartz block we build a nice little pillar of wall going straight from the block to the upside down stair. Sorry, the, the normal block. Ah, block to block, look at that. That's pretty cool. There we go. And then these two as well. Until we're right back round to having these all done. How much grander does that look already? Just with adding in these door right walls. Looks really cool. Now we take a quartz brick here and here, so against the step, and then one more door right wall on each of them, like so. Okay then, flowering azalea goes underneath each of the windows for three, and three over here. Of course we do build a bunch more of these around the entire building, but for now we're only focused on this area here, this very small area. We will go for another two, one each under each of these windows, like so. We'll then take a spruce trap door on both of these and fold it down the side the side, sorry, of these one by one azalea leaves. Like so. These singular azalea leaves. We'll do an open spruce fence gate like so. Over here we'll place three open gates. And here as well. Then we want to do ourselves three spruce trap doors folded against the quartz up here like so. And then we can also do them on each side of the flowering azalea leaves just to kind of represent a bench just here. Looks really cute. Looks really nice. Definitely not uh, <laughs> not giving like a false pretense to the building. <laughs> Gives like a real like, oh, it's so inviting. It looks beautiful. Going inside and Vecna's just chilling in an armchair with his nice cup of tea. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, over here you can take yourself your dark oak trap doors and if you aren't happy with the sort of continuation of the uh, the dark oak here to the roof of course we have that one layer that isn't dark oak uh, stripped dark oak you can of course sort that out by just making it all the same feel free to do that in a second let's get all these trap doors folded down it's quite satisfying there we go Sounds like a village. <laughs> there we go. And then at the very top up here, we want to hang ourselves three lanterns uh, down from the ceiling. So let's go ahead and just pick block our wood back here just so we can sort this out. 
trapdoors on it of course like so and then for our chains we'll come to the middle block just here middle of our doorway one two chains down furthest one away one chain furthest one away on the other side one chain lantern lantern and finally a lantern there and you come back from it and it looks really nice oh. go ahead and get back into the interior and start that I guess. <laughs> right, well, have, as we have ourselves a lovely decking to come start this bit of the tutorial from, I may as well just start here. So we're going to take ourselves some dark oak, uh, some stripped dark oak wood, sorry, a chain, some lanterns again, two nice bells, a white banner, block of quartz, light grey concrete, spruce fence gates, and some spruce fences as well. Okay, back into the inside, onto our little room on the right here. Now of course we don't want all of this space above, we only want ourselves one or two layers above our window. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know what, firstly let's start with our floor. So we'll take ourselves blocks of quartz and light grey concrete and we want to do a nice alternating sort of sequence on the floor here. Just like this, the whole way until we have this kind of square room sort of filled up, it's more like a rectangle this one. So let's go ahead and get this done guys, just for this flooring in here. There we go, looking pretty awesome. Now we can come up to the roof. So we're going to leave ourselves just four blocks next to our window of uh, birch that is. One, two, three, four. So we can actually use this top layer to stick our stripped dark oak wood to. And this will come, sorry it's a little bit dark in here guys. This will come right the way along here. Let's stick a lantern there just so you can see what I'm doing. Like this. this will allow us to finish this room up so like that okay then we need to stick ourselves a bell in this corner so to the left of the door there then we can stick ourselves four lanterns uh, we're gonna do two blocks in from this block here one two and on three we take two chains with a lantern on here that is one two on three is where we stick ourselves our uh, chain and then we'll do two more chains to directly next to it and another lantern here. Leaving a two block gap on three and four, just stick yourself these ones exactly the same way made, like that. So they're basically in the middle of the room, just here. Again, this room isn't very important in the show, so you can go ahead and make this whatever you want it to be. Feel free to change up the lighting too. Let's just do two little curtains on the side of the windows like so, and that just adds a little bit of extra detail there, just for the room we, we don't really know what it is. And there we go, that room is done. Perfect. Another one bites the dust, as Queen would say. <laughs> Alright, now we can take ourselves stripped dark oak wood and go ahead and build from this wall right the way across the ceiling here, including these blocks here. So let's build this right to the other side of the room. Let's go for it, guys. Once again, it's got a little dark in here because of that big ceiling. But not to worry, we're going to now sort the lights out. We're going to go over here to the left of this doorway that goes into the main hall. We'll take a bell up here like so. We'll then use the top of the door right up here and the one besides it to start carrying it on our roof. We want to go along until we are, I think it's two blocks away and we build on three. So we're going to go one, two and on three we want to stick ourselves a fence gate here and here but fold them so they're facing each other in the middle of the room like so. Sounds complicated, I know, but don't worry, you've got this. Now then, below this, we have to shift or crouch click, uh, preferably stood on a block because it's a little high up, like this, in order to stick ourselves two more fence gates here and here, kind of coming down from them, like that. Now one is going to be folded that way, and one is going to be folded this way. Okay, <laughs> I know, so complicated. Now we stick ourselves a fence here and a fence here. So we don't go any further down now, we just go next to the lowest um, fence gates we have. So like that. And our lanterns will sit on top of these fence gates, uh, fence posts, sorry, just like so. Now we need to build a total of three of these and we're going to build them three blocks away from one another. So we have one, two, three. Let's do ourselves another one on the fourth. Gates folded in towards each other. 
standing on a nice block on the ground. We can take two more gates below them. So awkward to get them in place here. Ah, you may find it easier to shut the gates and then try it. That'll probably be easier for you. There you go. And then open them back up afterwards. So that one's folding that way. That one can go that way. And then, of course, fence posts off of the lowest gates. Like that. And lanterns on top of them as well. Now, another three blocks away for our final one. One, two, and three. And then we do ourselves fence, fence, fence gates. Fold them in. Get our little step ladder block. <laughs> We're too short. Oh no. Stick ourselves fence gates here and here. Come on, man. Oh, it won't let me place. There we go. That one can be folded that way. This can be folded this way. Other side too. Nope, not that high up. There. And then finally, two more lanterns. One here and one here. Removing that stream block. Stream, note, frog light even. And then we have ourselves three lights in here like so. So yeah, that is good to go now. We can finally continue. Right, to get started on the kitchen interior, let's stick ourselves a dark oak sign, some dark oak doors, dark oak stairs, dark oak slabs, cauldrons, polished dorite, some crimson trap doors, tripwire hooks, and finally some flower pots as well. Okay then, over here on this uh, big cabinet that we build, I'm gonna go ahead and build ourselves a block with slabs like so for these two. And then we'll go ahead and stick ourselves a sign here with a open and close bracket for a little sort of draw knob. We'll do another one exactly the same next to it. Then we do ourselves doors with the handles facing one another. Up to down stairs go above the doors. Don't worry about the little gap. That is absolutely fine. Then we want to go ahead and stick another two blocks made of slabs here above the upside down stairs. Another upside down stair here and here, and then two blocks here and here like so. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? We're going to do a little bit different. We're going to go for, remove these two, remove those two blocks. Ups, sorry, normal stairs in there like so. Upside down stairs above the trap doors, and then a layer of slabs right the way across, like this. And then we can bring these stairs forward for two as well, like that. <laughs> now it looks super super weird when you know there's no table in here but um, that will actually look really good afterwards but uh, cool all right let's take ourselves two cauldrons here and here polished door right here trip by hooks on the note blocks so you have to shift or crouch click one and two for little taps a flower pot here and a flower pot next to the door right on this one and then we'll take ourselves dark oak signs on this one this one you can do some in front of the cauldrons if you want to, maybe just like not written on or something like that. I'm going to leave mine empty just to keep it authentic to my original. And around here you can stick yourself, I think there's going to, there is going to be uh, one on this one only for this side, like that. Nice. Okay, let's fold a trapdoor down from the note block here on the door right like so. And then we can take ourselves across to this way adding in an upside down dark oak stair here with some normal dark oak signs on but uh, you don't need to write anything on just like so and we also need to do it over here as well a block in on the right side of this doorway we go one and then we place a block a block a block a block stair again leaving a two block gap and then three uh, sorry four stairs along the front here like that Cool. Over here on this three block sort of cabinet, you can take another three signs, making that draw knob with the open and close bracket. Like that. Epic, guys. This is looking so cool. Okay, and then for the fireplace, we need to go ahead and take ourselves some dark oak stairs in line with the first lot of, uh, um, what's it called? Birch. Almost said like something random for some reason. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of material. That was weird. I was probably thinking of food. <laughs> so like that. Upside down stairs across there like so. You can leave the underside open if you want to. Almost like a chimney effect. And then we'll take ourselves a slab here and here. Underneath the stairs. 
And at the very top, you can forward stairs around the top here, kind of going into the roof as if they're sort of guiding the smoke out to bellow out the chimney. Very nice. Looking cool. Okay, is that all the materials we can use here? I think it may be. Let's go ahead and grab some more. Nope, it wasn't. It always happens to me. I always say it way too soon. We do need another <laughs> another fence here. Sorry, not fence. Uh, sign even here and here and around this side as well. My mistake, guys. Keep these upside down stairs without signs, though. That's absolutely fine. Now we're ready to continue. My goodness. <laughs> Back into our kitchen. Let's take a furnace, a campfire, some smooth quartz stairs, a cake. Ah, oh, I can't. I can't not. So tempting. Sorry, guys. Right, okay. Sea pickles, <laughs> smooth quartz slabs, azalea, a candle, and an item frame. That's the normal candle, by the way. All right, let's stick three candles over here. Well, that's four of those. There we go. An azalea here and here. We'll stick ourselves uh, two sea pickles over here with a cake besides it on the right. Upside down quartz steps for one, two, three. Uh, you know what? Let's do another one here. So four and then a slab on top, on top of the stair, not on top of wherever. <laughs> Let's do slabs again this side. So running the slabs right the way across. And then again, upside down stairs this way um, below until you reach above the two dark oak blocks like so. Cool. Let's do ourselves another two another two sets of candles even over here. We'll do one, two, three over here. And then on this one, we'll go one, two, three as well, like so. Nice. We can stick ourselves an item frame on this one, just here. We want to stick four item frames above our fireplace, for like pots and pans, say, or something. And then we can stick ourselves two over here, just behind the door, one, two there. One here for a nice clock. And then over, I think actually that could be it. Yeah, seems like it. Okay, good stuff. So finally, let's stick ourselves two campfires underground in here. You can stick them just there like so. And then you can stick two furnaces here and here. And the smoke, oh, if we do it close enough, my mistake, that was a bit silly. So we need to put the campfires here, like in line with the floor. And then we can stick furnaces here and here. And the smoke should still rise through them like that and as, as I say if you leave the top bit open it looks like it goes right up into the chimney which is really cool there we go now let's take a lightning rod some oxidized cut copper stairs two composters spruce trap doors spruce doors a minecart with hopper a clock glass bottles and some buckets as well for the buckets we'll stick them in the middle up here and they're going to be wanting to be kind of opposite sides like that, diagonally. So both the bottom of the buckets are kind of going in towards each other, like that. We'll do the bottles kind of going, again, opposite angles to one another, like that. And it kind of adds a nice bit of decoration above this kind of cooker, like so. Or you can even do them normal as well. I think on my original one it's normal. But either way it looks cool, like that. Nice one. Let's do ourselves minecart with hoppers on their sides over here. And these will kind of represent frying pans. Kind of hung up on the wall there. Like that, all that one's a bit. There we go, like so. We stick a clock here. And then we'll take ourselves these materials over here for a little kind of cupboard. We'll do a door here and here. A composter he oops, here. A spruce trap door folded up against the composter and up against towards the door. Two over the top of the doors, and another composter in front of this door, just over here. Let's do a ro lightning rod in the corner here, and then our stair facing towards that back wall, just there like so, for a nice little lamp. So we are almost there now. We want to take ourselves an oak fence, an oak trap door, an oak slab, an anvil, a weighted pressure plate, the heavy one, the iron one of course, a painting, polished deep slate slabs, and some spruce fences as well. Over here on this big unit, we want to take ourselves like a, a ladder almost made up with our oak fences. So we'll do it for three lots of two, like so. Cool. And then we'll go for a big painting up here, the one of the lady and the pig, of course, <laughs> like so. 
we'll do ourselves an oak slab just here. Oak trap door, oak trap door, weight to pressure plate, weight to pressure plate, and an anvil at its side, just like so, for a nice telephone. You can have the bigger side of the anvil facing towards that doorway. Nice. Now over here for our very grand looking table, we want to make this the center of attention for this room. As you can see, there's way too much floor space in here, so we need to kind of make it a little bit more cramped. In a good way though. We're going to go just next to the fireplace and stuff. We'll do two fences a block away from it, literally. Then we want to leave ourselves a gap of one, two, three, and on four we build, oops, my mistake, another two. So one, two, three, on four. Almost copying the, the lighting sort of effects. Leaving a gap of one, we'll do another two. And then one, two, three again. On the four, we build our last two uh, fences just here. And that should be in line with our doorways. Now we'll take ourselves polished deep slate slab from one fence to the other, right the way along for our grand table like this. So it lines up with our stove and fireplace nicely. All we need to do is add in some chairs. So for the chairs, you only need yourself some spruce stairs and spruce trap doors. I'm actually gonna pick block myself a random block. Let's go for a dark oak plank, just so I can sort of anchor my ups and downstairs to something instead of, you know, it being awkward to drag them along the entire wall here, like that. Okay, there's gonna be ups and downstairs right the way along this table. We're gonna start down this end. We wanna go a block in on the table, so in front of the cauldron. Crouch and stick a ups and downstair here. And then basically a space away, we do this right the way along until we have a filled up table, until we're a block away on this end. That's the one I was a bit concerned about, but it wasn't too bad to stack them. So like so. There should be five chairs on each side of the table. So over here, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go for an upside down chair there, here. Oh, sorry, it needs to be right next to the table. My mistake, there we go. Like so. Almost there. And then one more down here. Remove your temporary blocks if you placed any. And then you have five chairs. To give them a back, just stick trapdoors that way and fold them up. And for these ones, this way and fold them all up. And there you have yourselves a very grand dining table and kitchen. Assassins, you should definitely be proud of yourselves for today's episode alone. Episode, is this episode three? This is episode three, isn't it? has been insane. <laughs> I almost forgot which episode we were filming. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, yeah, it yeah, has been absolutely insane. We've got not only this room done, which is a very big room, the kitchen is pretty grand. Look how much detail there is. And then this room as well, but we've actually reshaped the house and built a back decking. So, I mean, phew, it's mind-blowing. So, uh, you really should be proud of that, and you've definitely earned yourselves a nice big break. Go and take a massive break. Get yourselves a cup of tea and just relax for a bit. Look at your, like, marvel at your creation because it's awesome. You've done a really good job. Uh, if you guys did enjoy today's tutorial, please be sure to drop a like on it. That would be awesome. If, uh, if you'd like to see me riding a pig into the next episode, please drop, ooh, let's say, if we can get to 25 likes, I will ride a pig through the Creole House front door to start episode 4 with a banger. <laughs> not bangers and mash, I'm sorry pig. That's not a joke, I, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, <laughs> also, if you're new around here, thank you so much for checking out my channel, I really, really appreciate you. If, uh, if you are liking what you're seeing, uh, I'm sorry about the terrible jokes, but if you are interested in those sort of things, and my tutorials of course, then uh, please consider joining the Assassin Hood today for free by subscribing. And finally, if you're on social media, you can check out mine in the description below and follow me up on those. Until the very next time, Assassins, take the best of care, have an excellent rest of your day, and I will see you very, very shortly for episode number four of the Creole House interior tutorials in Minecraft. Goodbye for now. Thank you once again.